In this video, we're going to walk through how to use the Quick Policy XML Creator Spreadsheet. I want to give all due credit to Craig Hypes, a former Cisco employee. He had a version of this spreadsheet for creating Mac OUI profiles, and I kind of expanded that to create profiles based on a number of different attributes. Creating profiles in ICE can be time consuming when you have to create profiles in bulk. This spreadsheet will help you to create multiple simple one attribute profiles. Depending on which tab you pick, you can create a profile based on a specific attribute. I created tabs for Mac OUI, User Agent, DHCP Class Identifier, DHCP Parameter Request List, SNMP System Description, SNMP Device Description, CDP Cache Platform, CDP Cache Version, LLDP System Description, and LLDP system name. Regardless of which tab you use, the instructions to create profiles are the exact same. Let's go back to the Mac OUI tab and level set for a moment. Each row here is a separate profile. We'll just need to fill in key fields and the XML will populate at the end of the row. Do not modify or change anything that's highlighted in pink. Those cells will either be pre-populated or will need to remain static. On each tab, I put about 10 rows in, so that'll be 10 profiles you can fill in, but you can easily copy and paste more in there if you want to just create a mass amount of profiles at once and you don't want to stop as you're filling it in. Going back to the top, let's walk through how to use this spreadsheet. I'm going to start out by typing in my vendor name in this profile. Since I'm a Mr. Robot fan, it's going to be eCorp. As we can see in the pink cell for B4, by filling out the vendor name, it pre-populated the policy description with that information. For the next two cells in white, I'm going to leave it at the default of true. This simply states that the profile policy will be enabled when I upload it to ICE, and if the endpoints match this profile, they'll be placed in a corresponding matching identity group. If I were to create this policy through the GUI, these two would be true by default, but it is available to change if you choose to do so. I can also choose a minimum certainty factor for this profile policy. By default, it's 10. If I were putting this in production and only matching on Mac OUI, I might want to put this down to something like 5. We can also specify how much the certainty factor will raise if the Mac OUI rule is matched. Since this spreadsheet is only creating policies with a single rule, I'd suggest matching it to your minimum certainty factor. Next, we'll give this profile a name. I'm going to name it eCorp-Device. After filling that in, we should see it pre-populate in several of the pink cells. As far as the policy version, leave that at the default of 2. Don't change that. Scrolling to the right, we're going to fill in the attribute value that should be matched on the Mac OUI name. I'm going to have this policy match on Mac OUIs that contain the word eCorp. Now that that's complete, let's scroll further to the right. That's where we'll see our completed profile formatted in XML. To use this, let's pull up Notepad on our computer. For every profile we create, I need to have the XML header with the version information on top. I've saved that on each tab under the V2 cell. I'm going to just copy and paste that into the top of my notepad now. Then I'll copy and paste the cell with the XML information into my notepad using Control C and then Control V. One thing about the way that Excel formats this XML information is that it adds quotation marks at the beginning and ending of it. If anyone has any advice on how to fix that, I'm open to feedback. In the meantime, we'll just delete these two quotations. Another thing that the Excel formula does is add a few double quotation marks in the XML output. I usually just use Notepad's replace function to replace double quotations with single quotations, and that fixes it right up. So now that I have my XML profile formatted correctly, I'm going to copy this and switch over to my RDP session to my ICE lab. I'm going to paste this into a Notepad and then save it as an XML file. After that's saved, I'm going to import it into my profiling policy in ICE. You can navigate to the profiling policy by going to Policy and then Profiling, or Work Centers, Profile, and Profiling Policies. Either one will get you to the same screen. Once there, we'll click on the Import button and choose the XML file that we saved. 
and then click Submit. Now that that's uploaded, let's go back to our profiling policies and then select Filter and search for eCorp. So I see my new device profile there, and if I click into it, I should be able to see that the rule is Mac OUI contains eCorp. And with that, that wraps up how to use the linked Excel spreadsheet to create your own XML profiles. Doing it for a single profile probably won't save a ton of time, but when you need to create dozens of profiles at once, it's going to be a lot faster to just plug in the values and upload the XML profiles. I hope that helps out anyone looking to create basic custom profiles, and thank you so much for watching.